So you want to patch the place smart object layers in Photoshop, but you are stuck or don't know how to get started. Today, I'm going to show you a simple process that will save you hours while batch replacing thousands of design files on your smart object layers in Photoshop. I will be showing you eight practical use cases for efficiently batch replacing smart object layers. So without much ado, let's jump into the video. I have this Photoshop file and in this Photoshop file, we have one smart object layer, uh, which is the rug. Now, I'm supposed to replace this rug with different rug designs images that I have. I have 10 of them. So to batch replace the smart object layers, in this case, the rugs. So I'll be using a Photoshop plugin, Bulk Markup. It is very simple to use. We have three fields, PSD template folder, design file folder, and export folder. So in a use case, we will create three subfolders. In the first folder, I uh, will keep our PSD file. In the second folder, we will have all the rug design files. And in the third folder, we'll keep this empty. Now jumping onto this plugin, we'll input this folder location into these three fields. First is the PSD template folder. Next we'll select the design file folder. Third, we'll select the export folder. Next, I'll jump to settings. In the export format, you can export this file into various format, uh, including JPG, PNG, TIFF, PST, GIF, WebP, and MP4. So for this demo, I'll be sticking to only JPG. I will go back to the main tab. I'll hit all start everything, and the magic will start. Uh, within moments, bulk mockup has replaced all the smart object layers and placed the rugs into the image. For the next use case, we have these two wallet frame mockup templates and we are supposed to add these five designs onto those templates. The challenge that we have in this scenario is the aspect ratio of this artwork files and that of this frame template does not match. Let me show you what I mean. If I place this artwork onto this frame, this is how it will look. The aspect ratio does not match exactly. So to address this issue, Bulk Mockup has seven different resize methods, ranging from fill canvas stretch, fit canvas cropping the extra, and all the other ones. So if you select fill canvas stretch, it will stretch out the artwork, and our issue will be resolved. Other option that we have to work in this case is fit canvas cropping the extra. So if you select fit canvas cropping the extra in this case, it will stretch out the artwork without disturbing the aspect ratio. Uh, there will be clipping on both the edges. For batch replacing the smart object layer, we'll again create three subfolders. Uh, one will keep the mockup template, other will keep the artwork files, and the file folder export will be empty. So in the Photoshop plugin, we'll fill in all the location details. And for the resize method, we'll select fill canvas cropping the extra. Now, before I click on start generating, there's another feature that I'd like to show. If you go to settings and that folder, we have three different options to save your exported files. If you select all in export folder, all your files will be exported in one folder. If you select PSD mockup, subfolders will be created for each of your PSD file. Or if you select design file, subfolders will be created for each of your design files. Now let's just select design file and we'll go to main, resize this Photoshop. Now we have the export folder. I'll click on start generating to watch the magic. So subfolders are being created for each of the design files. We have this farming design, both of this artwork from the farming will be in this subfolder. Likewise for all the design, modern fire will have both the templates here. Bulk mockup has batch replaced all the design files. For the next use case, we have this t-shirt mockup template uh, with a big print area at the center of the t-shirt. So the challenge in this scenario is, we have different orientation of design files. We have landscape design files, uh, then circular design files, and left portrait design files. And we want our design files to be placed perfectly on the t-shirt. We want this landscape design files to be placed on the top of the print area rather than at the center. 
the landscape designs to be positioned on the top not at the center so to address this challenge we have a special setting in the bulk mockup plugin if you navigate to settings design layer we have align to canvas option it provides you with nine anchor points which you can use to align your artwork or design files as you wish so for this use case i want all the designs to be placed from the top of the design print area so i'll be selecting this one now to batch replace the smart object layer uh, we'll again create three folders template will have the t-shirt then design files we have all our design files and in the export it's empty we'll jump to bulk mockup plugin enter all the folder location in these three fields for the resize method i'll select fit to canvas without cropping on the settings we'll go to design layer and select this top align feature and if you go to export uh, we have this naming option that lets you control the file name of the exported files. Uh, using these parameters, you can set up your own naming file convention. Now let us jump back to the main tab. And I'll hit on start generating to watch the magic. So as you could look, all the design files are perfectly placed onto the t-shirt template. Whether it's a landscape design, a circular design or a portrait design. For this next use case, I have this t-shirt with a custom embroidery design. Now I want to confine the placement of our design files to this small confined embroidery region only. So to achieve this, we have a special feature in bulk mockup. Let us explore that. Double click on the smart object icon to open in a new tab. So this is the confined region where we want our designs to be placed. From the top, I'll grab one guide. And then on the bottom, I'll grab another guide. And then from the left, one guide and then on the right another guide so i provided four guides that encompasses this uh, region that i want to confine and now all our design file will be confined to the intersection of these four guides now if you go to bulk mockup settings uh, we have these two options uh, resize to guides and align to guides i'll check them and go to main tab we'll save it now we'll follow the same steps create three subfolders and then input this folder location into these three fields and on the settings, we'll make sure that we select a resize to guides and align to guides. Now I'll resize the Photoshop window. I'll click on start generating for the magic to start. So as you could look, design files are particularly confined into that embroidery design area only. For the next use case, let us move to more complex scenarios. So I have this Tumblr mockup template. It is a animated mockup template where the design rotates. Uh, to bring in the animation, we'll go to Windows and turn on the timeline. And if you click on the play button, uh, you'll see the design is being rotated. The challenge with this smart object replacement is it has nested smart object layers. So if I want to change the design on this Tumblr, I need to open the smart object layer. And again, we have another level of smart object layer, your design here. So we'll again double click and open the smart object layer and then we are supposed to place our design over here. So there are two smart object layer nested, a smart object layer within smart object layer. This can easily be handled with the bulk mockup plugin. Uh, let us see how. So first step, uh, just go ahead and change the smart object layer name to add the design. Next, open the smart object layer, uh, rename this nested smart object layer as add the red nested. Save it. That's all you need to do. Bulk mockup will take care of the rest of the process. Again, uh, the process is very simple. Uh, create three subfolders. Uh, we have these four design files. The export is empty. We'll jump to the bulk mockup plugin, enter these three fields. Next, we'll go to the settings. And on the export option, we'll go to the files. So this being an animated mockup, so instead of selecting JPG, we'll select MP4. I'll resize Photoshop. And I'll click on start templating to watch the magic. So bulk of also export animated and video files. For the next use case, we have this nursery kids room where I'm supposed to change the wallpaper with cute little patterns. So I have 10 patterns here. Let us first see how we can do this manually and how we can leverage bulk mockup to achieve this pattern fill effect on this template. So we have the smart object layer and this is the pattern fill that we have applied onto this canvas. 
I can go ahead and select the other patterns. Hit on OK, click on Save. This is how you apply the different patterns, right? Now we want to automate this and uh, generate wallpapers for all these 10 tutorial patterns. So again, in the previous example, we saw the use of nested smart object layers. I uh, will be leveraging that concept. First, rename your smart object layer to add the red design. Next, delete this uh, pattern fill layer, this curve layer. Grab any one of the uh, pattern design that we have. Now, we'll manually place the pattern on the left. I'll press Ctrl J. This will make a duplicate copy. I'll move it to the right. Next, we want to change the smart object layer. So we'll select one of the smart object layer and name it add the red nested. That's it. We'll save it, close it, then save it, close it. Again, to automate this, we'll have the same structure. Three folders, kids roll, PNG pattern, export, uh, jump to bulk mockup plugin, uh, input all these three fields over here. And to watch the magic, we'll click on start generating. Now for the next use case, we have this t-shirt template with two smart object layers. The two smart object layers denotes two different designs to be placed on the chest of the t-shirt as well as the back part of the t-shirt. So these are the designs that will go on the front part of the t-shirt that is on the chest region. And then we have this back design folder which has our designs that will go at the back part of the t-shirt. Uh, this again can easily be handled with bulk mockup. Let us jump to bulk mockup and see how we can handle this. I will create three subfolders. In one, we'll keep uh, templates. So we have two templates with the same settings, front and back t-shirt design. Uh, for the design files, we'll create a subfolder with the name back design. So we'll keep all the back design in this subfolder and all the front design on the top of the folder. Next, we have the export folder, which is empty. Now on the bulk mockup plugin, we'll fill in all these three fields. Now, check this process multiple smart object. Though we are handling only two smart object, if you are use case has 10 smart objects or uh, 50 smart objects, bulk mockup can easily handle all those smart objects. So once you check this process multiple smart object, uh, that's all you need to do. And to watch the magic, we'll click on start generating. So you can see how this clearly handles uh, front and back design onto the same t-shirt template. So for the file use case, we have this table card video template. Uh, let me show you how the video plays. I will be adding this custom table design files onto this video template and export video mockups. So this is pretty simple. Again, we'll check this smart object. We have artwork here. Double click and open this. We have another smart object layer artwork here again. And here we have our design file. Perfect. So first, I uh, will rename it to add direct design. Next, we'll click and we'll rename this to add direct nested. Save it. We'll follow the same steps. We'll have three folders. Then in bulk mockup, we'll provide all those three folder location. And now we'll resize the Photoshop window. This is our export option. And now we'll click on start generating to watch the magic. So the video is being exported and you can watch the video live here while the other ones are being exported. Uh, isn't this beautiful and amazing? Likewise, Bulk Mockup can export any kind of video mockup templates and create wonderful videos for you. These were all the 8 different use cases to batch replace smart objects. There are detailed video tutorials for each of the use cases demonstrated in this video. Check the link in the description. If you have any unique use case that was not discussed, feel free to contact our support team and get help on that use case.